Hi everyone. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon. Last week Sandy and I went on a cruise and we had such a good time that we would like to share that experience with you. By the way, I've never been on a cruise before so this was a new experience for me. We blindly selected a four-night cruise on Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas ship which sails out of Miami. It's a relatively new ship which was launched in 2006 and recently revitalized and refurbished in 2020 and can accommodate up to 3,934 passengers. Turns out it was a great choice and we had a fabulous time as you'll see in this video. We selected a suite which gave us several perks on the cruise. Let's start with Sandy showing you around our accommodations. Okay. Here's our room number and the name of our, our suite. Here's walking into our suite. This is, we had a fruit, flowers, the bar area, huge double closets. To the left is the restroom. Here's the restroom with the bidet and a shower, not very big, and a bathtub. Kim, you'd like this jacuzzi, okay? Double basin. Say hi, Ed. Hi, Ed. <laughs> Here's our, here's our sofa, okay, <clears throat> this is our TV, we need Justin to work all this stuff, here's our stateroom, there's a little vanity, more closet space, got tons of closet space, okay, king bed, It's a balcony from our bedroom. And then this is our other balcony with two lounge chairs, a little table. I'll have to rearrange everything, guys. And then we got a little sitting area over here, okay? And as you can see, we are still in port. That's Miami downtown. We haven't left yet. There's another smaller little cruise ship. We had breakfast in the Windjammer Marketplace each morning, and here is how we were greeted on our way to breakfast. Good morning, Barbary. Good morning, <laughs> This is our greeter for, yeah, come on. <laughs> you go, girls. Rip me up before you go, go. Ooh, you got some moves, honey. <laughs> Love it, love it. Yeah. Woo, some fancy footwork too. Yeah. The main purpose of the greeter, besides waking you up, is to have everyone wash their hands before entering the breakfast dining hall where you will have a fantastic selection of food from which to choose. Okay, good morning everyone. This is just a sampling of our morning breakfast. As you can see, we have market carving, we have cereal, we have bakery, eggs and more, favorites. We have all this food here. Now we have coming around to fruits. Then we have international flavors. Okay, 
more bakery, beverages, and it goes on and on. There are stations all along the side of the ship. These are pictures of the main dining room where Sandy and I had dinner each evening. One of the benefits of reserving a suite was we had a reserved window table for two each evening at dinner. I cannot say enough about the food. It was fantastic. The menu changed every day and there were several entrees that we would have loved to have eaten. This particular evening we both chose prime rib which was cooked perfectly to our taste. Another sweet perk was the use of the sweet lounge. We visited the sweet lounge each evening before dinner for free beverages and hors d'oeuvres. Ava Clark, our sweet concierge and her staff treated us like royalty. Sandy loved the chocolate covered strawberries and they somehow made it back to our room for dessert each evening. Here we are in the sweet lounge up on the 14th deck. And uh, we've got some more d'oeuvres out here while we wait for our drinks to come. We're getting prepared to go to a dress-up night for uh, in the main dining hall. This is what the lounge looks like. The first port was an island, Coco Cay, which is a private island owned by Royal Caribbean. Here we are at Coco Cay. It's like a huge amusement park. The beaches. You can go kayaking. You can go jet skiing. Just a fun place to go. Before we head to the Bahamas. Our second day on board was spent sailing at sea. There were many events on board the ship for entertainment. The most popular was the belly flop contest. Here was the winning flop. Let's look at some of the other popular areas on the ship, such as the Kitty Splash area, the Miniature Golf, the Flow Rider, and Rock Climbing. This is Splash Away Bay on the ship, and it's set up for the children. All of this is for the children. On the very top of deck of the ship, we have Miniature Golf. There's a few people playing today. Most of the people went into NASA. This is the wall climbing. Got people climbing the wall. Not for me. Or Uncle Buddy. Justin, yes. This is the flow rider on the boat. a sports court which was used for both basketball and pickleball. Here we have pickleball. Basketball court and pickleball court. Here we are docked at our last port, Nassau, Bahamas. We're docked next to the Scarlet Lady, a Virgin Voyages cruise ship. Okay, this is a ship, as you can see, called Virgin. The coolest thing that we can see on these on this ship is all the balconies. They they, they have hammocks. We are pulled into the port of Nassau, Bahamas. So we're getting to get ready to disembark to go and do a little tchotchke shopping. Okay, here's a little bit more of the ship. I wanted to show y'all. We're still in NASA.
Here's the island, part of it, okay. There was music all over the ship. Here's a sampling of one band. Back to Miami we go, and we're going to end our video tour. Hope you enjoy the tour as much as we enjoyed taking the cruise. Thank you for watching, and remember always, failure is not an option. Bye!